Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to what is the first part in a new tutorial series in which we're creating a dynamic weather system using Unity 3D. Now, as you can see, I've created a new project and I've just imported the standard assets for now. So, without further ado, let's get on and we'll create a new folder. And we'll call this scripts. And we'll come in here, we'll create a new C sharp script, and we'll just call this dynamic weather. And we'll open it for editing. Now, the first few lessons of this tutorial system is we are just going to work on actually getting this skeleton for our script in place. And then the later lessons will work on actually fleshing the script out. So for now, let's just get our function set up and our enum classes. So we'll come here at the top and we'll say public and we'll just call this weather states the underscore weather state. And we'll close the line off. And we'll put it into comments. So we'll say defines the naming convention of our weather states. Now we'll come here and we'll create a public enum. And we want to use this name here. And then we want to open and close brackets. Now we'll be using this name later on in the series. But for now, we are going to state all the different ways the weather can exist. So let's put that into comments here. So we'll say again, defines all states the weather can exist in. Once we've got that we'll come in here and the first one is pick weather and we'll put a comma. The next one is going to be sunny weather, comma, thunder weather, mist weather, overcast weather and snow weather. Now please note there's no comma on this last one here. Now computationally speaking we can add numbers to each one of our states. I normally tend to do this once the script is completed in case I want to come in and add any more states or take any away. Um, you can add as many or as few as you want, but um, for the purposes of this tutorial series, I think uh, these five main ones will give us a pretty good overview. The only one you will definitely need is the pick weather up at the top here. And then we'll come in here and we need to create voids for each of these. So we'll say void pick weather, open and close brackets, open and close and we can just copy this five times. There's three, four and there's five. And I'm sure you've guessed, I'm just going to copy each one of these and paste it in. So there's sunny and thunder. And um, we'll have one for mist. And one last one to go for snow. And we can actually save this out now. Now, the way this is going to work is we're going to have 
two Fahrenheit state machines working. And Fahrenheit state machines are basically just switch blocks. So what will happen is when this script starts, it will automatically come to the first void here, the peak weather. And then it will tell the other switch block to switch out to one of these. So within this series you will actually learn two ways of doing the switch block which I hope is uh, of interest to a lot of you, I'm sure it will be. And um, th that's basically how it's going to work. And then once we have that in place we can come and start fleshing out these functions which will handle our particle systems and our light intensity and everything we associate with you know natural weather so we can close this down for now and in our next lesson we will actually work on creating the first switch block so I hope you've enjoyed this and please all of you have a very good day and uh, I will see you next time and bye for now.